Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Ack and welcome to my channel. So, we're gonna new kind of different video this time. Going over like the past games I've played and you know, go over some of the characters in this game. And the character that I want to go first is Yukiko. Now, <clears throat> I wanna be completely and brutally honest with BB Tag Yukiko. <clears throat> I hated playing BB Tag Yukiko. There's two reasons. Two reasons why I played BB Tag Yukiko. One, if I started to miss playing Yukiko, I would have hopped on here and played BB Tag um, Yukiko. And two, the reason why I played her was because for y'all, you know, I know y'all really love me playing BB Tag Yukiko, so I wanted, so I played it for her, play her for you guys, really, because you know me, I love to please y'all, no pause, whatever, I always. <laughs> but for real, I, I, I do like to make y'all happy though, and um, that was another reason why I played BB Tag Yukiko. So. Let's begin explaining why I hated being you could BB Tag you could go so much. The first thing I wanted to go over is her fans. Her fans is basically her anti-air tool and it is trash. And I will go into details why it's trash. So here we have Yukiko here, and I'm going to have her throw her fans up. First and foremost, you know, I'm, I'm sure you guys are surprised, like, boy, you can go control two fans. This is like boss Yukiko mode. Now, before y'all go in, yes, that is nice, but let me explain why this does not help out at all. True, it does cover a good portion of the screen up in the air, but what makes it so bad is this for this reason. Okay. I will not lose. Your opponent can recover from that attack and still get closer to you. Now, I know you're going to say, but Timeless, what about Counterhead? Surely there is a stun with the, with the, um, with the Counterhead. As you can see, even if it's a Counterhead, you still be able to recover fast, just like it was a normal hit and still able to get close to your opponent. This is close to a point where now when you, you throw your fan, you also have to throw out your Moragi as well, trying to discourage your opponent from getting closer to you. What makes it worse with Moragi is sometimes it can whiff and your opponent will still be able to get closer to you even with the mount with Moragi. With I'll show you my dance. So that's one problem with you though, you is dance. that she has the worst and one of the worst anti airs in this game. Now I want to go Thank over you. her assist as well because her assist triggers the hell out of me, specifically 60 assists. Why they made this a a a, 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 a high attack? I have no idea. But it pisses me off so much that this is a high attack. Why they made it a high attack, I have no idea. While literally every other character who has 6 feet assist, you name it Elizabeth, Yumi, Nine, Hilda, uh, Naoto, um, who else? Not Naoto from BB Tag, but Naoto Shiragani from Persona 4. But, um, <clears throat> Naoto, and I can't think of anyone else. Ruby, twice, and hers is, hers, well, hers tracks, but her, um, 6 p assist tracks, but still, literally, F, all those characters that I've named all hit a mid attack, but if you can go 6 p assist, it's a high attack. Why? I have no idea, but that angers me. Um, you can go fight P. Let me make her block. Yukiko's 5P assist was actually pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. It's really fast, really good for like sandwiching, so they're not just do this, and then 
I'll be able to sandwich the opponent. Hold on. Hold on. Something like that's for example. It's been so long since I played Beauty Tags. I already forgot all the like <clears throat> buttons and how I play with those two and such. But I remember five PSS was actually very decent. So, but uh, four P assist used to be bad for for this patch because four P assist used to not have a hitbox, but now it has a hitbox. It's somewhat useful and somewhat not useful because let's say your opponent uh bursts. Let's make her burst real quick. It'll hit, but it's so hard to try to convert a combo off from that. Home Chie, for example. There are some characters that can get a, a combo off her, like Hilda, for example, but... Uh, it doesn't work for everyone. Literally, you have to use... Oops. We have to use 5P assist to really get a combo off her. Combo like that, for example. There's the, a better one, but... I can't think of one right now. One other thing I want to talk about is her normal. They kept her vanilla um, bread, um, bread and butter comp auto combo. Oops. That's embarrassing. But they kept her vanilla auto combo, which is like this. Sort of her vanilla um, combo, because the after um, the third hit of 4 AA, it will go into the Augie before in vanilla but and this patch it just goes as a fan um there's really not much to talk about with this one because it's still the same as it was in vanilla and ultimax really you know big hitbox but slow start of frames basically which is something that i'm pretty much used to with this yukiko to be honest, but it would have been nice if they increased <clears throat> the start of frames from this, because at, at least increase the start of frames for this. Because in this game, you know, Yukiko doesn't have too much control over her persona, like as she has an Ultimax. So it was it's just very confusing on how they wanted to make Yukiko work. It's like they want her to be a zoner, but not be a zoner at the same time. If that makes sense. Um, her other normal is like 2A, which is this. This is no, nothing much to say as well. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's always been like an okay, um, well, really. Um, one thing that I do like about this BB Tech Ego is that you can convert um, her 4A to A, like this, for example. That's nice to somewhat make it a mix ups. I don't know. But it was somewhat nice. Um, her sweep always been a pretty decent one. Has a very good range. Not the fastest, but. Her fastest um, normal she has is really 2A, but the hitbox is small. But her seat has some good range to it, though. I really like that. Now, the last one, which is really a game changer, is her 5A. This is basically, um, you could go throwing out like 5D and Ultimax, but um, you can do more in BB Tag, you could go. Like that, basically. This is basically your like your go-to combo, basically. I hated it. I'm not gonna lie, because I was like thinking, like, how do I really feel about this? Like, and I just, I just didn't like it. There's really not much you could do with like mix-up potential. I mean, you had jump C, which is an overhead, but you can't do much. All you could do is just do come see into Agi. I will say though, if you're in Resonance, you're able to do um, the X version of uh, Agi and then convert into an Agi Dime. Oh, 
Oh wow, still not hundred percent shit. Um <laughs> You could do that at least. That would be that's very helpful when if you especially get your uh, fire level up to level nine, which I will talk more about our fire levels in a second. You're able to do like pretty good and significant damage on to your opponent. Yugo is somewhat really good at being the last character alive if you're able to get her fire level up high. Um, so she can she does have somewhat of a mix up where you could like convert it to an overhead. Or continue on with the strings into a um and that the third hit of five A is a low. Let me show you guys what I mean. C jump C jump C jump D. Oh my god. Jump D is an overhead. And the third hit of five A is a low. And you were able to get Agidine off of that too, just by just doing um doing that and then do the Aga um the Agidine. I'll show you guys what I mean. So yeah, that's really about it. You can um, call out a team assist and be able to do more to it, like... Oops, I forgot already, but something like that, for example. I forgot all my combos with these two girls, I'm not gonna lie, but you could do something like that. But what sucks is that um, there's a way to deny this and there's your opponent bursting and there's really no way to save Yukiko from that because she recovers from her um, jump C or jump to 36A really slow. I'll show you what I mean. There's really just no way how to make it like safe for her. Even if you like cancel it, your opponent can burst and clash onto her. You can switch and have like Jay, for example, punish your opponent from bursting. But it's just this is not as good, really. Um, the next thing that I want to go over is her special. I will say this, like, why well, bring it to a more positive note with BB Tag Yiko? I did like her too on 4A. I did like that because it was very fast, almost like very hard to react to it. So it can catch people off guard, like how you how it is in Ultimax where you just like zone your opponent out with your Maragis and you just throw out 214A and it'll um, catch your opponent off guard. This is really good like as like a zoning tool, like like Hodoken, like Ryu's Hodoken for example, and this is a really good tool as a combo ender. You know, you can get a combo off on of it. Let me see if I remember how to do it. You could do something like that, for example. Um, but yeah, I will say that 214A was pretty decent. Our next one, which was 214C, it goes by a lot faster than it was in Ultimax, and I kind of don't like it. I'm not gonna lie, because with Ultimax, you're able to like move with it. And if your opponent get closer to you, you can just let it go and it'll hit them. Here, it just go by really fast and you can't really go with it. So it's not really a good tool to like protect yourself. This is a good tool to like to throw out an opponent like want like try to get closer to you, you can let go and it'll hit them. Do that, or this is a really good tool for like combo extenders. So 
something like that, for example. Um, it was a I. It, it it's just there. I don't know really what to say about that. I just don't really care about it too much. Um, her Agi is absolutely trash. I don't really want to go too much in depth with it. It's just, it's just really bad. It's not even really good to as like a block stun in my honest opinion. Ultimax Agi is way much better, especially now that it explodes two times. If you hold it longer, this is not even like really good in my honest opinion. That, and also it's low to the ground. I don't know why it's low to the ground. Um, I will say that I did like the X version of Agi because it does track. This is really good to like try to catch your opponent off guard if their opponent is like low on health and such. I will say that, but overall I didn't like it. Our X version of Maraki, I forgot. It's very nice. It's even more faster than um, 214A. And you get a combo extender like I've demonstrated for you guys as well. That's actually a really, I actually really like it. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. A lot better than um, <laughs> Ultimax, I will say. Ultimax Eco's um, Maraki. But, um,. Yeah, it's, that's how I said it. Um, one other thing, one other special, I hate it. Okay, let's go. I mean, I won't say I hate it increasing her fire level, uh, the fire level ability, but I hate that it chips her health. I don't know why it chips her health, and what makes it even worse is Yukiko's health is not a lot. She doesn't have a lot of health for her to like tank a lot of hits. I mean, it's kind of fair because of the fact that she's one of the characters that we can recover her health. But I still hate the fact that um, it chips her health. Uh, 2 A um, is a bit faster than 2 2 C, but you increase your fire level by one and it chips your health a little bit than 2 2 C. G2C takes a little bit longer for it to increase our fire level. It increases our fire level to two. It chips our health a bit more than um, 2-2-A, I think. A funeral pyre. Brace yourself. Oh no, someone increased, they decreased the same. Oh, shoot. Um, the only con with 2-2-B is you. that it's slow, but um, you do increase your fire level more I more than 2-2-A. 2-2-B increases your fire level fast and it gets your fire level to level 2. Also, it's you're immune to projectiles, so I'll make you go throw up fans to me real quick. Seeing you're immune to projectiles as well, this is really good of trying to increase your fire level against like a zoning characters like Hilda or uh, another you could go on Yumi, for example. That was really, it's a really good tool to do to counter them. I like that though. I, that's one of the abilities that I really like. And um, BB Tag, with BB Tag you could go. It would have been very nice to have that in Ultimate you could go, I'm not gonna lie, because Yukari's arrows and, and Naruto's bullets, it is a bit annoying to try to increase your fire level from afar. This is why I say that you don't necessarily have to increase your fire level from a distance. You can increase your fire level by being a rush on as well. And um My yeah, turn. that's the basically what summons up with you can go specials. Overall I prefer Ultimate to go more than BB Tag you can go. Also, the fact that you don't have your Phoenix Flame Swirl. The only way how you have your Phoenix Flame Swirl is her assist. I still hate that assist with all my guts. Um, you don't have Flame Dance in here. You can only use Flame Dance from your auto combos. You don't have Fire Break on here as well. It was a very, I had a very good debate. One of the Discord group about bringing Fire Break 
probably break back with Yukiko. It would make her into like a niche type of character, but I still would have loved to have fire break on here, really. My turn. Last but not least, let's talk about her super. There's really not much to talk about her super. You can't control her Akidon for some odd reason because in Ultimax, you can go, you're able to control your um, Akidon, you can make him move forward or backwards towards you. Um, Agidon, there's really not much to talk about with Agidon. My Agidon in that, I meant, my Agidon, there's not really much to talk about with my Agidon. Um, I will say, one thing they did differently with my Agidon is that they increase, or oh, decrease, I meant they decrease the recovery of my Agidon, so you're able to do something like this. Hey, hold on. I'm messing it all up. You're able to do something like that, for example. Even Shadi Yukiko can't do that. There's like a limit of what Argonne she can do, but BB Tag Yukiko, it's, you can do... You can use all them all up until you don't have any more bars to be able to do it. That's now that's nice somewhat, but that's really about it with my Agudon really. So overall with you could go, you could go was a very hard character to make to make make it make her work. You know, and especially it was really hard to find like the right partner for you to go. Because there's three things you could go wax that she, hmm, not three, four. I wouldn't say four that she lacks. This is one. There's three that she lacks that she needed in her partner. And there's one like bonus that would greatly be appreciated for each of them. One, she needed an assist that can help her with her hand to air. Two, she needed an assist that can help her increase her fire level. Three, she also needs a character that can help her increase her healing as well. And finally, she needed a character that can that don't sorely relies on meters. Now, with all that and with all that what I just said, there is not a lot of characters that are able to do all that. But there is only one character that was able to do everything that Yukiko needed in that list. And you guess it. It's Hilda. Hilda is one of the characters, is one of the best partner for Yukiko because of the fact that she's able to help her increase our fire level through combos, help her increase um I'm not these are not good examples of doing that there's a better combo that you can do with increasing Yugo's fire level and her health really um also Hilda's 4p assist is ridiculous ridiculously strong and greatly helps her out a lot Hilda don't necessarily Hilda does use meter but Can I them it really bounces out for Yukiko because of the fact that she can help Yukiko get her fire level up to 9 to really fast, really, so that <laughs> somewhat helps her out, really. If there's one other thing that I could think of that I like about Yukiko is her GP, and I picked like, the wrong one, we love that. This is the correct one. I'm so used to her of DPs being, um... You know the X and the circle button, but in this game it's X the square button. Um I'll show you my one thing I really love about her DP is that it doesn't chip her health. So you can actually use her DP as like a reversal and also help increase her health up as well. That's it kinda keeps slow in a way. 
kind of like goes in like a kind of a slow regeneration, but it's still somewhat decent, really. Um, so that's one really the one thing that I really love about that. Her DP also, her DP is an anti air as well. Now, here's her DP on Ultimax. Well, in BB Tag, you could go. Well, in BB Tag, you could go. Oh my god. In BB Tag, you could go, which I'm trying to demonstrate. You can't do that with um, BB Tag, you could go. As you can see, it's an answer error. You see that blue explanation point? It's an answer error, so you can't block it. That is one thing that I really, I see a lot of other good benefit with Bikiko's um, BP and BB tag is that it's an answer error. I do like that. But overall, I really did not like BB tag you could go. It, it was not fun in the slightest for me. Um I'll show you my dance. Another thing that I forgot to note with her fans is um that's nice is that um her 5cc to to when you throw her fans out it all considers um consider a mid attack instead of like one of her fans being a high attack. So that was, that's nice as well. And yeah, that's about summarized with um, BB Tag Yukigo. This sum, uh, sums up my frustration with her and why I hated playing BB Tag Yukigo. Will I ever come back to playing BB Tag? BB Tag? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think I will ever come back and return playing BB Tag. Um, I will, however, do make more videos about each of the characters, though, if you guys like this kind of video. And if you do, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share it to your friends. And you might see more of this kind of video in the future. But uh, that's about it for for right now. The next one that I'm going to make is Chie. Chie is another character that I want to discuss too and explain how I feel about her and such. But um, yeah, hope you guys look forward to it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time.